Hey there, today we're going to wrap up the year by doing a review of this Siberian Husky here. Look at her, this is Ada, my Siberian Husky. She is eight years old and she is purebred as far as we can tell. She's got one blue eye and one brown eye, which is pretty normal for the breed. This is her to scale with a Swiss Army knife. That's something we all have a rough handle of how large it is. Um, she doesn't like that. That's her again, just with the Swiss Army knife. Her dimensions, she's about probably, you'd class her as a small to medium sized dog. She's not super heavy. She's about 18, 19 kilograms. This is me holding her. Certainly not a stretch to hold. Cedric, on the other hand, really, really heavy. So pretty medium sized dog, really. So Ada is really, really funny. She does lots of funny, silly things. She's sudden movements, jumping all over you, just kind of does what she wants which is definitely a product which uh, of a funny dog. So it's not the best quality, but she's funny. She's also got loads of endurance. She's definitely a good dog for adventures. She's done upwards of 20, 30K walks with me and not even been bothered when I've been a mess at the end. Very, very healthy. She is hilarious, chases Cedric around. She's really good with other dogs. This is her just beating Cedric up. She's the alpha of the pair, even though she's about half of his weight. She's just way fitter, stronger, and more tenacious than he is. There she is giving him a quick route. Yep, no, trying to get on there. Um, and yeah, she's just very placid and calm around humans and pretty much does what you need her to most of the time, except for very particular circumstances, which I will get to in a minute. So a husky like this will set you back about a thousand bucks. So this is what your yard will look like if you have a Siberian Husky. Your fence will end up looking like the Thunderdome from Mad Max. They dig, escape, and they just hate being contained, and that extends to walks as well. You'll need to have a fairly good leash system, and you won't be wanting to trust her away from it. This is a sleeping hole that they dig. They'll turn your yard into a series of these, and this is the other sleeping hole for when she wants to face the other way. I had no say in this happening. They make lots of fur too, the Siberian Huskies. Lots and lots of fur. In fact, you could probably make a second dog from all the fur that you will brush off. But it's not too bad and it is good bonding time for the pup. So those are the wins and the fails of owning a dog such as Ada. Alrighty, that'll probably be my last video for the year of 2016, I'd suggest. I thought I'd just keep it light and a bit silly. Uh, reviewing a dog, obviously <laughs> she's got faults and she's got very cool qualities about it, but you can't really review a dog because they're all quite unique. Uh, certain things to be aware of, of course, but I'm only really half or a quarter serious. Um, but yes, she's my dog and we love her even though she escapes, she needs to be on a lead, she doesn't really do any dog tricks, she can kind of sit down, uh, she doesn't catch balls, so they just hit her right in the face. Um, but she's just a reasonable companion, nice and healthy, good adventure dog, and if you could train your husky to walk on a lead, that'd be really, really, to walk off the lead rather, that'd be bloody wonderful. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you all have a magnificent New Year's Eve. Um, don't wreck yourself. Remember, I like the saying that nothing good happens uh, in a pub after 2am. And I think that's pretty true. Uh, I don't think anything good's ever happened to me in a pub after 2am or at a party after 2am. So just go home and go to bed. And I'll uh, see you in the new year with some new knife gear outdoor videos. See you later, dudes.